Hey guys, what's up? My name is Art. I'm back again doing another video. It's a Friday afternoon, evening. Sorry, Friday evening. And, uh, you know, I just took a little drive to buy some stuff for the car so I can clean the car. It's funny, I had the car for a little over a week and it's like, it's showing all the dirt and all this other stuff all over. So, naturally, buying some Armor All. It's nice. Got it for a good deal. Those three things for like 12 bucks. Not a bad deal, so... I can at least keep the new car somewhat nice looking for a look for a hot second. <clears throat> Guy walking his dog. <coughs> <coughs> so, what's been going on? So the question is, is that I've been thinking about something lately. I have been. Um, and what now? I'm going to tell you. Now, I tell you, every one of my videos has some sort of personal issue with it but this time I'm gonna really say something real not well I talked about it before but not to the deep as I'm gonna say it right now okay for example just think about this <clears throat> when I first look at you sorry when I when you first look at me what do you see besides some smuck on YouTube okay <laughs> talking some nonsense even though some nonsense has some merit or some nonsense to it whatever okay if you say you know thing is you can say you know what I see a, a black dude you know I see a bald somewhat bald black dude in his car talking and you're absolutely right but then again there's other things about me that you don't see for example I went to college graduated with a degree I got a bachelor's degree took me eight years to do it but I did it <coughs> I also have a decent job and I've been working there for almost 18 years and I'm trying to make it to 25 there's some issues that I'm going through right now that may or may not be a problem but that's another video for another time one other thing is that I talked one thing I talked about yes DUIs. What am I addicted to? Al am I an alcoholic? The answer is no. I'm not an alcoholic. And yes, I do go to AA. I haven't been to AA in about since the summer broke because of my car issue. Because of car issue. One thing. Oh, you also see this shirt, Ash Nutrition. This used to be a supplements store in my area before they went out of business because their prices was way too freaking high you know 50 bucks for a protein powder that lasts like you know like 30 to 40 bucks for a protein powder that only lasts you like two weeks <clears throat> and it didn't really do much it's like oh yeah i got some protein yeah so i started buying you know nitrous oxide which helps me with the workout for a bit for a hot second but after a while i got i had to quit doing that so obviously i do work out have I worked out? I haven't worked out for in about a month or so. No, I haven't. But to some extent, I still maintain somewhat shape, and that's good. So, so the first thing some people will look at me and say, "Oh, well, are you an alcoholic?" The answer is no. I'm not an alcoholic. I just survived the DUI, my second DUI, and avoiding the third. <clears throat> One other thing that when you look at me and something that you don't really can't really see is called depression I do suffer from depression now the thing is, is that some people say whoa wait wait hold on a second most people who have depression they can't do anything they can't function and that's true there are some people who can't function you know, sometimes some people I know when they get depressed, some of my friends when they get depressed, guess what happens? They're in bed all day. Literally all day. Me, I might lay in bed if I had nothing else to do, but you know, hey, I like working. Working keeps my mind off of stuff. I work out sometimes. When I do work out, it helps keep my mind active, you know what I'm saying? And the thing is that since I haven't worked out in such a long time, I do notice my depression coming back slowly. But since I got a new car, 
and I'm almost over the summer cold kind of thing. So I will be back in the gym very shortly. If not tonight, if not tonight, but definitely tomorrow. And hope I don't catch another. And hope I don't catch another summer cold. But those things are nasty. You know, what's other things that contributed to my depression? For the last couple years, I was used by women. That happens to the best of us. You know, I was white knighting. I was simping. A lot of times, it's just that I didn't know what I was doing. I thought this is what you're supposed to kind of do. This is what you're supposed to do. You have a girlfriend. She needs money. You help to her. You help her out. Okay. After a while, it got kind of tedious, and I like stopped. And after that, when the money stopped, she left. And so I'm like, okay, I kind of figured that was going to happen, but you know, you you don't know. And it, did, did it break me? Of course, it broke me. <clears throat> then I got roped into some other stuff. Same kind of shit. You know, just that. And it seemed like a lot of times is that you know, one thing that one of my friends Benjamin said is that I'm an empath, which I'm still researching that one. But the thing is that it kind of makes sense because people sense what kind of person I am and then they'll, and they'll pounce on it and that's how they end up getting taken, taken over. Even though I have my own mind and everything else, but I'm doing things that I normally would not do. <coughs> For example, I'll give you an example, the Netta situation. I did a video about that 40 fucking minutes. Talk about this stupid bitch. Sorry, I shouldn't say stupid bitch, but you know, the thing is, is that you know, let her play me for a hot second. Yeah, I got something out of it, but then what happened was when I cut the shit off, she found another way how to get back on by saying that I had a she had my child, and of course I'm like, what the fuck? Not even thinking. I'm acting on emotion. And since I'm acting on emotions, I'm not even thinking clearly. Then all of a sudden, she dropped out of the picture for a while, and then she came back and started doing the same shit all over again. And I'm like, no, I'm tired of this shit. That also helps. That also hurts my. That also helps bring about my depression because guess what? I'm sitting right here. It's like this bitch is stressing my ass out. You know. She'll call, she'll text me, I won't even answer. She'll text me again, yeah, won't answer, I won't answer. Call, call, won't answer, call, not, won't answer. I blocked the call, but then again, it's, it's that presence of her, I'm, and I'm telling her, and I'm like, I'm getting to the point where I'm like, you know what, I'm not dealing with you. I'm not dealing with you. And that's stressful as all hell. So, you know, that's a totally different story. That's a totally different story for another time. But the thing is, that also harps on my depression. <clears throat> and the thing is, some people say, well, you're kind of weak because you have depression and stuff like that. And you're admitting it. You're a man. You're not supposed to admit shit like that. But the thing is, when I'm in front of my therapist and shit, they don't give a damn. But then again, you know, should I be taking my Wellbutrin? Yeah, I should be taking it. But I decided not to. I said to myself, you know what? I think I can handle without the medication. But it looks like I might have to put, go back on medication again. I don't know. But then again, I, you know, because of the car situation and doing all this stuff, now I'm kind of pretty much mobile again. I have an appointment, which I'm going to meet this Wednesday with him. And there's a whole bunch of shit I got to talk to him about. You know, and <coughs> and the thing is that this some of the stuff and like I said, doing these videos kind of helped me out as well. You know, and the thing is that I'm not ashamed of having depression. I'm not ashamed of it because I suffered from it for so damn long. I mean, there was a time where I used to hang out with a bunch of people. Then all of a sudden, for two or three months, I just stopped. Then I come right back, and they'd be like, "Man, what happened to you? Did your car break down again?" And I was like, "Yeah." car broke down yeah oh don't worry we could pick you up I'm like no no that's i'm not way out of the way okay but then again sometimes my car did break down but then again that also helps with the depression too because all of a sudden your mode of transportation is down and you're like oh my god how am i going to do all this shit but you know and then again that's in a lot of times when my depression hits i start spending a lot more money than normal and that's what i try to keep a hold on 
try to keep a hold on on that. Try to keep a hold on. The only thing I can say is that if you're suffering from mental illness, whether it's depression, anxiety, bipolarism, okay, here's the thing. You're not alone. A lot of people, a friend of mine who, he, he was, um, he was in the, United States Army for 20 years. He is, bro I mean, his body is broken. I mean, broke. He got pins. He got he got stuff all over the place. And the funny thing is, one time when I, we was out, we was drinking, and he, and the dude broke down and started crying on me because he says, "I want to be back out there. I want to be back out in the front lines." I feel useless without be, if I'm not. I'm like, dude, you got two kids who are growing teenage years. They need you more than the. I'm telling you, something, I'm glad that you're a patriot. Great. Guess what? You served your country. Great. But the problem is, it's time for you to let somebody else do all that. Your kids need you more. He goes, yeah, I know that, but you know, but he, the tears going down his face because, and I can understand that. Because all of a sudden, I'm like, damn, man, I feel sorry for the, I feel bad for myself. You know, a lot of times when I go, you know, thing is, a lot of times I look up and when I'm depressed, I wake up, I'm like, I don't feel like going to work. But then again, I look up and it's like, sometimes I get tr triggered by other people with same kind of, I deal with people with depression and stuff like that. And sometimes when some people talk about suicide, I'm like, holy shit. That's what I was thinking. And that scared the shit out of me too. So you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of stuff. And a lot of times when I do these videos, I do talk about drunk driving a lot and DUIs and shit, probation and stuff like that. But sometimes I do talk about the depression, which <coughs> which is a very personal issue with me. And a lot of times, a lot of my behaviors. I, I can attribute it to the, dep I mean, I'm not saying the depression is, I'm not trying to say my crutch is depression. I'm trying to blame all my problems on depression, but a lot of times when you're, de when you're handling depression, you have an altered mind state. <clears throat> Some things you see are not exactly what you see. Things you hear is not exactly what you hear. So to me, if I'm depressed and I decide, you know what? This friend I know, you know, sh let's see if I want to, she wants to go out to dinner. It'll cheer me up without telling her I'm depressed and shit like that. And if I take her out, is that simping, white knighting, or is that me trying to help, handle, try me trying to escape my problems for the night? You see what I'm saying? It could be either or, depending on how you look at it. It could be white knighting because of the fact that, guess what? I'm giving this bitch, I'm sorry, I'm giving this woman something to eat. Could I be simply because I'm trying, I'm, am I, I'm paying for her dinner so that way, you know, so I can get something out of it. Not necessarily something, not necessarily sex, but, you know, some kind of companionship or something like that. <coughs> or is it because of the fact that, one, I need someone to hang out with so I won't feel so down. And if that person's available, so be it, you know. Or is it that way? I don't know. It all depends how you look at it. But the thing is, is that it's a very hard thing to, ex it's a, it's very hard at first to admit that you have depression and stuff like that. It's hard to mention that you have a mental illness because it, in a way it makes you look weak. But the funny thing is because you're fighting this shit, you actually are strong. And that sometimes I got to remember that. I'm a strong motherfucker. Why? Because I'm dealing with this mental bullshit all the damn time. <clears throat> I'm dealing with this. So, I mean, what is that? Does that make me? A, I'm like, I'm a fighter. No, it's not. Doesn't this doesn't mean like that? What I mean to say is this. For me, it's easy to say stuff like this here. Than to tell somebody on the street, say, hey, man, I feel depressed today. You know, and sometimes I have done that to some of my closest friends and stuff like that. And sometimes they do. 
the reactions is kind of frightening. That's why I don't say shit like that a lot. Because the reactions are sometimes frightening. Like, holy shit, this dude motherfucker's gonna kill himself. And, I mean, it was, I remember one time I had, I was way out there one time, and I, and I just phoned up this one, one of my boys, and he's like, dude, man, you've been a great friend to me, you know, and I always love you as a friend and shit like that, and then he was like, calling me up, dude, get to here fast. I'm like, what the fuck? All these people that was with him was like, dude, you can't be, you can't be doing shit like that, you know, you can't be doing that. But, you know, that's how it is. So, this is over. And I'm about to go home and do some stuff. So, talk to you guys later.